All right, and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Uh, today's benchmark is looking at 2.5 Demoivre's theorem. Now, Demoivre's theorem is used to uh, quickly expand uh, uh, a complex number raised to a power, rather than having to do a you know binomial expansion and multiply that out five times. We can actually use Demoivre's theorem, which is uh, uh, convert first convert your complex number into its trigonometric form and then uh, apply this formula r to the n times cosine of n times theta plus i sine of n times theta so the first thing we need to do here is find our r and theta so our r is uh, really is the the absolute value or the or the distance this complex number is from 0 so uh, square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared uh, <clears throat> is going to give us square root of 4, which is 2. So our r is 2. And again, that's just the, the uh, uh, distance from 0, the origin. And then our theta, we can find by uh, using the fact that the tangent of theta is going to equal b over a which in this case is 1 over square root of 3. So the inverse tangent of 1 over square root of 3 and I get 30 degrees. Uh, you also may recognize 1 and square root of 3 as uh, ratios for a special triangle. So actually I'm going to draw that over here because I will use that later. 30 degrees, 1 square root of 3, and that's going to be 2. Uh, all right, so now uh, to apply De Moivre's theorem, uh, I have the 2 out in front, and then I will uh, use r to the n, so 2 to the fifth power times cosine of 5 times 30, my angle plus i sine of 5 times 30 my angle again and that's going to be 32 cosine of 150 plus i sine of 150 now to, uh, to actually evaluate this, I'm applying the 2, that gives me 64. Uh, cosine of 150, well, this is a multiple of 30. So uh, I can do the cosine of my special angle, 30 degrees, which is uh, square root 3 over 2. However, uh, 150 degrees is in quadrant 2. Uh, 150 degrees is here in quadrant 2 where uh, cosine is uh, negative. All students take calculus. Sine's positive in this quadrant. Cosine would be negative, so uh, I can make that negative. Square root 3 over 2 and then plus i. Sine of 150, again do the sine of 30 because it's a multiple of 30, which is 1 half. And then in quadrant 2, sine's positive, so I'll leave that as. A positive one half. Distribute in the 64 and I get my final answer of negative 32 square root 3 plus 32 I. And there is my expanded form. Much easier than having to multiply that square root of 3 plus I five times. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.